Hi folks, thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Greg and this is All About Candles. I'm your self-proclaimed Canadian candle connoisseur and today I have a review for you from Bath & Body Works. I'm just gonna keep these Bath & Body Works reviews coming at ya. Um, Semi-annual sale is still going on. Things are happening and changing and shifting. I'll probably do a video about it on the weekend to post about my finds. Um, but anyways, today I have a review for you, which is Turquoise Waters. I absolutely adore this candle. And I think that this is a really pretty iteration of it. Um, I have to say that I think I liked the one from last year a little bit more. Uh, actually, let me go get it. And I'm back, and I have this one from last year. I think that this one was just a little bit prettier, particularly when it was burning. Um, this candle had thick ropey wicks on it, but it had white wax, so it actually performed really nicely. I liked the, I liked this wave of summer releases for the most part. Um, Turquoise Waters, there was Bronze Sunset, which I love, Palo Santo Vanilla, which I adore. We got a summer boardwalk, Raspberry Rosé has been surprisingly good, and I loved Surf Shop, so we did get some good stuff um, for summer from Bath & Body Works. Maybe not as much as we wanted to, but we did get it. This is a really nice candle. It's got sort of a textured finish to it. Almost looks like a painted uh, ceramic situation. Uh, the scent notes on this are coastal waves, sparkling bergamot, and sun-drenched musk. Oh, this is so nice. This is a really, really aquatic, airy, it's sparkly, but not in like a super bubbly soda pop kind of way. It's a nice, smooth effervescence. Oh my goodness, it's gorgeous. I get a little bit of a floral in here, even though no floral is listed. You get a little bit of like a sparkly citrus note from that bergamot, but it's not like a top sharp citrusy note. It's kind of a more mid-level. The top note for me is that really airy, ozone-y, coastal wave, like briny vibe. And then in the middle, there's something, a little bit of a white floral aquaticness to it, a little bit citrusy. And then on the bottom, you've got sort of a, a salty musk to it. It's really, really nice. It's absolutely um, a nice top to level, well-balanced fragrance. And when you're burning it, it really comes alive too. Um, for strength and throw and performance, I would say that this burned really nicely and really cleanly. Considering it had the thick ropey wicks, this is a really nice clean burn. I'd say that it gets to about a seven or a 7.5 for strength and throw, um, which is kind of where my sweet spot is, especially with a candle like this. This is meant to be a little bit more of a softer, nuanced fragrance. It's not meant to be slapping you in the face. So a seven uh, to a 7.5 is perfectly acceptable. That was in a medium space. I think in a more open space, you're getting like a 6.5 to a seven out of it. Um, and I actually did put this in my bathroom for a couple of nights when I was sort of taking long showers and pampering myself. And it was a really nice, like, beachy spa feel in there. And it gets up to an eight in a smaller space like that, for sure. I really enjoyed this candle in a lot of different areas of my place. Um, and yeah, it really nice clean burn all the way down to the bottom. I got to the point where I could see the wick nickels. It never really dudded out and gave me teeny tiny wicks and itty bitty flames. So I really have no complaints. Um, absolutely a repurchase for me. In fact, I have already repurchased one. I've got a little bit of a stash of turquoise waters. And I also really like the hand soap for turquoise waters. When I have company over, I really like doing the turquoise waters candle in the guest bathroom with the turquoise water hand soap because I'm so bougie and fancy like that. <laughs> 
<laughs> Anyways, I really like this fragrance. I highly recommend it to you. It's probably not for everybody. It, it's definitely a little bit more of a sort of nuance acquired taste type of situation. Mm, but I really love it. If you haven't smelled it yet, next time you're in the store, give it a little bit of a chance, all right? Oh, that's all I have for you today. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me. Let me know in the comments section if you've burned turquoise waters and what you thought of it. Uh, if you could hit me up with a like or a subscription, that would really mean the world to me. Um, and until next time, my friends, let's all burn some candles and bitch about it. <laughs> Thanks, folks. Bye-bye.